Hello everyone and welcome to Thailand Off Grid where me and my wife decide to start a new life with peace, tranquility, stability without the stress of all the bills and whatnot coming that you know everyone has to deal with in life. It's pretty tough so we're trying to make our little dream let's make it happen. So today I'm going to be talking about my water system. Last time, or a couple videos back. I think we're getting the water, guys. Is that water coming up? You would have seen that we've drilled for water. That way we can have water pressure towards the house. If we look on this side, we have the lake filling up or filled up. We have water going in right over here. And at the back, there's a drain port. So that drains out to my rice field because yes, I am going rice. I will be harvesting in less than a month. So I'll be making a video on that from start to finish, show you how that goes and how that grows. So I'm very excited to have my own food that I'm not always spending money for. That's the whole point. So I have water, solar, house, rice, and fish. I'm trying to get there where I'm not spending much money at all in order to survive. I even have a vehicle that I'll bring up in another video or so. Uh, electric motorcycle for now. And later on I'll be getting an EV car. That's why I've got the giant uh, solar array. And the, uh, it's also a high voltage system, what I've installed, the solar system. So today we're talking about water. If you look over here at the front of the lake, you will see a manifold. This manifold I've made so that way I can take water from multiple places. Also having a shower and an area to connect uh, water holes if I need to. And guess what? We're in the middle of nowhere. So if there's a spontaneous fire or something happening, you have to be able to handle it. So I have uh, water spouts everywhere. I have one here, one at the uh, front corner of this house and one at the rear catter corner at the other end of the house, back side of the house. That way I can cover the whole perimeter with water pressure if I need so. So I'll give you a close up on the water manifold and show you its functions. Okay, so here you can see the water coming out. And if we look over here, this here is the well. This is where the water comes up. I have a main valve here. That goes to this manifold. It's a loop here. So, water comes out from the well. It goes into my manifold. I have a valve here, runoff valve, bleed off, that's running to fill the lake. Here you have also a shower, so that way when you come out of the lake, you can wash off just by turning this valve here. And on this side, if you need to hook up a water, water hose or something like that, if you need water pressure, you can get it from there. Then from the bottom, I have another valve, if you can see over there. And that there is running underground. I've dug a two feet trench all the way to the house. So that's where we're gonna go. All right, so these solar panels are only for running that well runs in the daytime only so it doesn't need a battery so less things to go wrong and it's also a separate system in case my solar system or inverter were to fail hopefully not I was not gonna run out of water so I can always light a candle but uh, having running water is so important so that's there it's running along underground and then going to the side of the house where I have the whole water tree set up. So I'm going to show you that now. I have another spigot here. You can see the water pressure. Very good water pressure. All right. So here we go. Underneath these stairs. If you look here, I have some pipes coming out of the ground that I'll explain what that is. This pipe here is the water coming from the well. So that's going up in the back 
of that high pressure pump, but it's not connected to it. And it goes to this water container here. All right, so the water goes into this well or this water chamber here. This is 500 liters. If we open this up here, you'll be able to see that and you can see that it's filling from here see it's already full almost and of course when this is full the water stops coming so that's full yeah all right I'll take that cover up Put that back on. okay so here's where it gets fun. Okay guys, so this is the high pressure water pump, right? I'm trying to do this with one hand for you guys. Here we go. See? That's the pump there. Give a close up. Okay, so we have the big pipe. And that big pipe is running in the back. It's running in the back. And then it comes up over here where I have a valve. And that goes into this reservoir. Inside here, there's a pipe that runs on the inside that's right here by floater check valve that you guys saw just now when it was filling up with water. So that's how water enters this. Then on the bottom of that, you've got this pipe that's the water with a valve that's now going to the water pump. All right. So this here works with a pressure system. When you turn on your faucet inside or we're washing clothes, taking a shower, you know, anything, toilet, whatever, this reads that the pressure drop, then it engages. So it's not running all the time. And then uh, when you're stop using bathroom stop using anything that you're using the pressure builds up and that cakes off so as long as you don't have a leak it will never run unless you want it to so that's that i have here a bypass valve that i created so that way in case i have to service the pump or in case uh, i need the water because the pump is broken i could still use gravity feed from that big reservoir behind me that's 500 liters and that will feed a mini minimal water pressure to what I need my appliances and whatnot it's going to be like almost a trickle but a is water and then I'll be able to repair the pump and put it back in see I have a coupler here a coupler here that way I can remove the pump when needed of course I would then shut off the water outlet valve inlet wouldn't matter I could leave that open but this guy would shut off that way it won't empty itself when I decouple the motor so I made it where I could service it whenever I need to all right so you see three pipes this is water coming in and then the water coming out I have a t-junction with a small pipe that's running to that first faucet right here that's why you have a lot of water pressure on this first faucet. Then you will see that I have that small pipe and that's going all the way wrapping around the house and that's giving water pressure to the house. The top pipe, I'm just using that to house the electrical cord because I don't want it exposed to the elements. So hopefully that has explained uh, how the water system works the redundancy of it and also uh, the water pressure that you get from it is like you're living on grid but you're off grid so I'm trying to make my house give me all the creature comforts that you would have when you're living in a in a residential area so that way I'm not limited and feeling like I'm off grid but yet I am off grid okay and now the third pipe, the white one here, that's right here with uh, this wire on the side. That's just in preparation. That wire is going all the way down by the water well. Now the purpose for that wire being by the water well 
is when I make the extension roof because I'm making a second floor roof in good time uh, I want to be able to put those panels that are out there on top of the extended roof on the house because these are uh, smaller panels they're not the same size as the ones I have powering the house these guys are only two meters by one meter and the ones I have on the house are like almost two and a half meters long by one meter ten or something like that wide so they're they're much larger in size and they wouldn't be able to to fit everywhere but those three panels are pretty small small footprint that'll be able to go on top of the roof when I build that roof the extension up there so I can hang out up there without being drilled by the Sun but it is still a beautiful view to uh, stand on the roof and look out at everything all the beauty so one more thing for anyone that might have a question about the water being only pumped in the day because I don't have a battery on that system well that's why I have a 500 liter reservoir and that's more than enough to uh, give water to the house for showers for uh, using the restroom toilet using anything that I need to use you might just have to add like a chlorine tab or something like that and I have a water test kit so I'll be making a small video with testing the water I have RO reverse osmosis water that I buy for cooking and drinking and then I have my well water that I pump so I'll be making a video in the future of uh, using the water test kit comparing the reverse osmosis water to the water that I get from my well and we'll see how far off that underground water is all right but it is clear to the eye you can't see any particles in the water it looks like you can drink it smells like you can drink it but hey I'm not gonna take that chance until I know right and uh, everything all the appliances that run on the house are all run by battery solar and uh, I don't want to be investing after I make my dream come true I want to be able to relax and not have a bunch of fees at the end of the month just to keep up this dream all right guys Take care, enjoy, and stay tuned. My wife and I will be giving a house tour on the next video. I know this has been a long awaiting process and I'll give you prices on the house and all the things that I needed to do to get where I am, including solar, digging the water well, setting everything up. I'll have some prices for you guys so you'll get an idea of what it costs in order to do something like this. Like, subscribe, Stay tuned for more. Have a nice day.